Welcome to Cooking with Chef Cherboyardi. I'm Chef Cherboyardi, and today I'm going to teach you how to make funfetti cakes. Great for weddings, bar mitzvahs, or anything else you might need a cake for. You're going to want to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you know on this show, I like to use all fresh ingredients shipped directly from the coast of Madagascar. You're going to need a big old bowl to mix them all up in, and a cutting board just so you don't damage your countertops. And once you've got all that ready, then it's time to bake the cake. Now it's with any good cake, you're going to want to start off with the base. Most cakes would use cake mix, but today we're going to be using some puffed brown rice cereal. So you're going to want to get this at your local grocer, just open up the bag and get about half a bowl in there. Next you're going to want to add the eggs to this mixture. These eggs come directly from the chickens I home raised in my backyard. You're going to want to take the, about the first three and put them in there, you know, gently, no shells. Then you're going to get a light mix. Now some people say, you know, shouldn't you use like a utensil or something, but we don't need those on this show, like I've already said. Then you're going to want to add the other three in there, just to, just throw them in there, smash them up, you know, get them in there real good and mix it up a little bit, you know. Next you're going to want to get yourself some apple cider vinegar. Uh, personally, I went with White House, you can do whatever brand fits you best. We're going to take the cap off there, put about 100, uh, 100 milliliters in there, and then just add that right on in. Oof, sure does smell. Give it a little kick, you know? <coughs> it's got <coughs> Tastes as good as it smells. April Fresh Fabrice, our next ingredient. Now our next ingredient is a very specific one as it's very important. Let me grab it really quick. It needs to be Disney's frozen fruit snacks. Now you might be saying to yourself, well I could just use any brand of fruit snacks, but no, you cannot just use any brand of fruit snacks, okay? I cannot stress how important it is that they be Disney's frozen fruit snacks that you must use to bake this cake. How do you want to add? A couple of frozen fruit snacks to the mixture itself. So you're gonna have to just take off and put a couple in there. I actually do one blue bag and one pink bag to get, get some variety in there. Oh, excuse me. How did you get in here? We're not using you until next week. The next ingredient you're gonna to want to put in is some dark red kidney beans. Now, let me get my old, reliable can opener over here. Been opening cans with this baby for 50 years. So, you're going to want to open the can, obviously. You know, beginners can do that much. You know, she's a little busted. It's a little tough to get what cans open these days. But, you know, you got to make do, you know. I'd rather use an old-fashioned can opener than one of those fancy new ones that do the work for you. You don't learn anything without a hard day's work, is what I always say. Just about down there. And then you're just going to want to put those in there. <laughs> Next we're going to go, we're going to move on to uh, bananas. Well, you're going to watch yourself get yourself some, some nice ripe bananas. A little bruising is alright. So uh, basically, we're, I'm going to add my little secret ingredient for the bananas. I like to, uh, let me get this open really. I like to just put my, uh, my own little ingredient in the bananas, so you, uh, you get it on the tip there, and then you just spray it inside, and you get some, some nice cheese whiz in there. And so, uh, oof, there it goes, boy, it is gushing out of there. So you get that going in there, you get yourself a nice little cheesy banana, and then you're going to mash that up, you know, get it nice and grounded up so that it's nice and mush. And we're just going to throw that in the mix and mix it up a little bit. 
We don't want a messy kitchen, so we're going to just clean up the leftover cheese whiz from the banana. And then we're going to move on over to our second most important ingredient, the tomato. Now, some people might use a juicer. You're going to want to get all the juices out of it, obviously. But I like to use the extractor that God gave me myself. So you're going to want to get all the juices out of there, make sure that they land right in the bowl. And then you're just going to put that in there and, again, give it a light mix. Now our next important ingredient is some Swiss rolls. So we're going to open the box up here, and uh, you don't want to just add entire, entire Swiss rolls, though. You, you want to get them nice and, and cut up into small pieces. So most people might do that with like commonplace kitchen knives, but my sensei taught me better than that. I've done rigorous training for the past 150 years, and let's just say I know my way around a sword. So you're going to want to get your Swiss rolls nice and cut up. The small little pieces, then you're just going to grab that and put them on into the mix. Our next ingredient will be the African wachuchu pepper. It is extremely hot and only grows in Madagascar, which is where all the ingredients for this show are from. I'm going to do a little test though to make sure it's ripe enough before I put it in. Whew. <laughs> it's a little, little hot there. Uh, nothing, uh, just right though. That's just how we like it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and mash it up a little and then uh, Put that on into the stew, give it a little, a little light mix again. Whew. Getting hot in here or just me? <laughs> You're going to want to put a little bit of pepper jack cheese in there, give it a little, 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 little kick, you know? So I'm uh, going to open that up. Little, little. I'm going to use a knife for this one. Sorry, Sensei, but sometimes you just got to give in the modern times, I guess. So you need to get that opened up, so then I uh, just want to get a little bit of cheese. Not that much. I'm just drop that on in there. You're going to want to get some cream of mushroom soup, uh, any brand will do. I personally got this from Madagascar, like I said, all fresh ingredients. Let's plop some of that in there. Finally, well, no, well, before that, get some chicken, uh, sweet and sour chicken hamburger helper. So you may be thinking, now why would you put that in a cake mix? And I know it's a little weird, but trust me, it'll be worth it. So come separate it, you're going to want to get the rice first. And just get a little bit of the rice in there, not the whole package. Then you're going to move on to the actual powder. I'm going to put a little bit of the flavoring in there. And finally, whatever, 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 you're going to want to get the, the other powder and put that in there, the orange powder. Then we're going to move on over to this little, uh, little old-fashioned uh, wild berry orange pie. I went ahead and pre-made and boxed myself. And we're just gonna, gonna add the whole pie, you know? Be like a little treat in the center of the cake, you know? The tin, the tin is fine. You can leave the tin on. Just mush it up a little bit. And then give everything a lot of their, another mix. Make sure it's all in there nice and uh, together. Gonna go some garlic powder, you know? Why not? I like things that taste a little garlicky whenever I'm cooking them, at least. Uh, what is this? The ground cinnamon, very important. We're going to want to do just a dash of ground cinnamon, you know, not, not, not too much, just a little bit. This is the make or break for the cake. It's not a cake without sardines. That's what my mom always told me to believe. So we're going to go ahead and open these up. So we're going to open it up. You're going to, you know, just like take a, take a piece of it, you know, I'll let you scope it out a little bit, you know, just get, get that, get that all in there. And we're just going to dump it in there. You know, fish spines and all, you know, it doesn't matter. You want all of that in there. And we're going to give it a final, a final mix, you know, just mix it all up one more time. And then we're going to just, uh, you know, wipe our hands off real quick and take it on over to the oven. The oven should be preheated already. Just set that down from there and let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes. So after about 30 minutes or so, the cake should be done. Go ahead and pull that out of the oven. You know, who needs oven mitts, right? Place that down, the final product should look a little something like this. And uh, that's it. Well, you're ready to enjoy at this point. So, I am uh, Chef Chaboy RD, and this has been Cooking with Chef Chaboy RD. So, thanks for tuning in, and uh, make sure you come on back next week. We're going to be making bologna and cheese sandwiches. It'll be good.